Joining me now is Wendy Angst, Associate Teaching Professor in the Management Department of the Mendoza College of Business. Professor Angst teaches graduate and undergraduate courses specializing in design thinking, and we'll get into that in a little bit, innovation as well, and entrepreneurship. Her classes have traveled to the corners and companies across the country to learn about and prepare for the business landscape of the future. Welcome to Notre Dame Day, Professor. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm great. Thank you. It's great to have you here. Now, I understand you started your career in healthcare space. Can you now tell us how you came to be teaching at the Mendoza College of Business? Yeah, so I started in healthcare and had the opportunity to take a company through a couple different uh, phases of growth from angel investment um, all the way through acquisition by a publicly traded company. While I was doing that, my husband went back to school for his PhD. So he was recruited to come out to Notre Dame. And at that time, uh, we weren't quite sure if it was the right move for us, but what really tipped the scales for me is uh, one day I was driving home from work, my cell phone rang, and it was the dean of the College of Business, Dean Carolyn Wu, taking time out of her day to call me on my cell phone to say that she really wanted our family to be a part of the Notre Dame family. And I thought, if the dean of the business school can take time and reach out to the spouse of someone they're recruiting, it's a really special place. So we moved our family out. Um, I got to be a, a good friend of Carolyn Wu's and ended up helping design some courses in how you could teach commercialization and the rest is history. Well, with your experience, we're lucky to have you here as a professor. Now, for those of us who don't know, please tell us <laughs> what design thinking is. Sure, so design thinking is one of the emerging trends kind of in business and for a lot of social problems. We actually teach courses here at Notre Dame in arts and letters and science and engineering and in business all in design thinking. And really it's a premise uh, in human-centered design where you put the user at the center of the solutions that you're working on. So it's grounded in deep empathy for the users and it's really applied for not just products but for service design and experience design as well. So you focus on the user, you identify their needs, and then you do kind of quick iterations and prototypes you can fail quickly and learn from that before you invest a lot in implementing a solution. Well, I can see why you're teaching that. I mean, I, I suppose most people come up with a business plan and they have their idea of how their business is going to work, and, and you're saying, no, you have to start with what the user wants. Exactly. You start with the user, you understand the user's unmet needs that they really can't even articulate themselves and just try to immerse yourself and really understand the situation from their perspective. And how much has technology, and specifically going to telephones, changed mm -hmm. business? Oh, it's quite a bit. So you think about the types of, of problems that society is facing today around the environment, around food scarcity, the conflicts, and then just the uh, increasing use of technology. We call those wicked problems. They're problems that there's no precedence for how to deal with them in society. So that's where design thinking or human-centered design really is the best approach for thinking through those, those challenges. Well, wicked problems indeed, but amazing that the solutions will come from here and from your classes that you're teaching. Now, I understand you provided a lot of unique learning opportunities for your students. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Well, the students here at Notre Dame, as you know, are phenomenal, and it's such a privilege to work with them. They have such big hearts and such passion for making a difference in the world. So um, I feel like my role as an instructor and the fact that I have industry experience is just a great opportunity to bring that to bear. So um, in the fall semester, we had an opportunity to work with Hearst on a 17 magazine project where the students um, worked on what the future of print magazines could be for the 17 magazine brand. And at the end of that class, um, we were able to take 12 students to New York and present to the executives in the boardroom at Hearst Magazine. And it was really a phenomenal experience for, for the students to basically get to put their, their solutions into practice. Yeah, it wouldn't th seem like it, but the future of print, you know, that, that's definitely something that you know, it's going to be unique moving forward. Oh, so definitely. Mendoza's mm -hmm. College, is, the, the motto is ask more of business. How do you integrate that mission into your work? Well, I would say again, you know, we have students that, that just it's a part of their DNA and they have such a passion for making a difference. So while our project in the fall semester was around um, Hearst and Print Magazine, this semester we have students that are working on challenges with the Center for the Homeless, the Boys and Girls Club, um, one even looking at improving the, the homiletic practices of priests. So um, a wide range of, of problems that the students are working on in applying the design thinking methodology. Wide range indeed. Thank you so much, Professor Angst, for joining us here at the Notre Dame Day.